And then you have those people who hear that alarm and jump out of bed. They jump out of bed and they get up and, you know, they. this is another day that, that holds wonderful opportunities for me. The scripture says, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. They decided to have joy. They may, you know, go to a job and do the same thing all over um, again every day, but they have made the decision that regardless of what's going on today, I'm going to take advantage of every opportunity that presents itself to me because I have joy, I have strength, I have integrity, I have courage, I have all these things inside of me that I can use to take me to the next level of development, the next level spiritually, financially, emotionally, every area of their life. But you know they made that decision when they heard that alarm, when they heard the sound to get up and to move, okay? So, it's not an easy thing to do if you are one who wants to get up but can't get up. You want to do something with your life. You have all these questions and, and you have all these things that you want to do. And you wrote out this plan and nothing's happening. You know, for some people, they can't just get up out of bed at 6 o'clock or 5 o'clock in the morning. There's a process. So for those people that have to do that, and still are lingering in bed that extra 30 minutes, maybe you only linger in bed that 5 minutes until you get to a place that when the clock goes off, you are ready to go. But you know, there's the mindset that goes with that. There's, there's a renewing of your mind to say that when I hear that clock in the morning, I'm not going to hit that snooze button because you know what you're also saying? You're also saying, and it goes back to the way of thinking, that I already know how my day is going to end. I already know everything that I'm going to do. So why, and why should I even rush it? That's what you're also saying. Because it goes back to that comfort zone, that old way of thinking. Your mind is not renewed. You're not allowing anything to come in to help get you to that next level because you've already clouded your mind and your heart and your whole way of thinking with negativity. So guess what? That's what you're going to get when you get to work. And, you know, you're feeling bad throughout the day and everybody around you is just making negative comments and you're taking all that in and you're drained. Guess what? You've allowed yourself to accept that as truth where you are. But I want to challenge you. I want to challenge everybody that's watching this video. If you're one of the people that hears the alarm and you're going off to set about your day that says to insist that whatever is going to happen today, I am prepared for it. Because today is the day the Lord has made, and I will rejoice. Will rejoice means that you are saying that you're making that decision to do that. That's what you're saying. I'm making the decision to have some joy in my life. If that coworker is getting on my nerve, if my kids are just, you know, ripping and running around here, I'm going to have some joy in my life today. You're making that decision. You go with it. Now, for those of you who, you know, you turn it over, you're even turning your backs. That's the funny thing about it. I noticed when I, when I was talking to several people, and I used to do it myself. When the alarm goes off, I'd hit it, and I'd turn my back. You know what that was saying? What that signifying is that I'm turning my back on the experience. I'm turning my back on opportunity. I'm turning my back on a move of God. I'm turning my back on the blessings that are waiting for me when I get to the next level. But the only way that that's going to happen in your life is that it requires you moving. There has to be some movement. In order for you to get to your job, get to the store, or even get to your bathroom, you have to move out of your bed. Okay? It requires movement. That's not always an easy thing to do. But in but the reason I made this video is because I want to encourage you. Now I've talked to um, my friend. She's making some changes in her life. And it's going to take her some time. But I wanted to share this with you because there are other people out there on YouTube and MySpace or wherever you see this video that feel the same way. And if this 
message can encourage you in any way, then God bless you. And I want to encourage you just to move. When you hear the alarm, when you hear that signal of change coming in your life, when you hear that, know that it's not bad. Know that God is trying to take you to another level. He's trying to bring increase, prosperity. He's trying to bring knowledge and wisdom into your life. But you have to move. Let me say this and then I'm going to end this video, okay? I'm going to use this, this little picture and I want you to picture this with me. Picture yourself in a room that has a door and you're on the opposite end of where the door is, okay? Now, prayers, the prayers of the righteous can actually move you from where you are to the door. Prayers can even allow your, put your hand on the knob, okay? But you know what? You have to make that decision if you're going to turn that knob and walk out that door. So I'm saying this to say is that you have to make a decision. If you want to stay where you are in your life and not allow God to come in and to show up and show out where he can. Are you going to stay where you are? Are you going to move? What are you going to do? Are you going to move? So I, it's my prayer that this video is, this, is a sound that you hear that will cause action. Because that's what it's about. It's about action. So God bless you. And this is Keisha signing off saying love your body and love yourself. Bye.